Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Zeus, and welcome back to another video here of uh, Call of Duty. Just review of uh, their bundles and what comes out of their bundles. Now, today we're going to talk about Talon's Eagle Eye bundle. Now, um, this is quite funny for me because I've been watching the boys, and watch the boys, you see there's a character called Eagle, so um, it's kind of like, okay, you know, nice little resemblance, but. Cheesy stuff aside, um, this bundle actually isn't that bad, um, though I think it's a little bit quite expensive, uh, card-wise, for it, I think 18 probably would have been nice, um, yeah, about 18, 18, 16 would have been nice because we're not getting any new weapons, we're getting an SKS and a Fennec, which is, I think, would be the third or the fourth, uh, blueprint that we get for the Fennec that we can purchase, so it's actually not that bad. But, um, before I get into those guns, I'm going to show you the skin first, you know, and let you guys know what's up. I mean, he's, uh, very feathery, um, for me, almost like a peacock more than a eagle, especially with, uh, more than a hawk, too, because he's blue. Um, if they would have done it black with a white face, then, yeah, it would have given you an eagle, but, um, this bluish type, it looks a little more different. Um, you can definitely hide on the floor and this on a lot of places, you know, um, I like the look of it. It's very, very stealthy. It is an extreme good look and this actually brings out probably the third, like, kind of camouflage suit that we have in, um, for the Allegiance. Because, uh, w the first one we have is Gollum, which is the bear one. Then, uh, we got the ghillie suit from... From ghosts and now we have this one right here um so they're, they're starting to actually diverse these uh stealthy suits more instead of just keeping them more to the coalition side and get them all to grinch or um uh, <laughs> the other guy slipped out of my mind um but you know the the uh, the, coali the uh, coalition had a lot of great suits that you just like bro when are we gonna get one for our allegiance? And we finally did. Well, so this is the third installment for that. Um, this right here is the SKS. Now, obviously, the monolith suppressor. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too jolty. Um, I thought they would probably draw eagles going with the theme, but it looks more Indian theme. So you have, you know, like all these uh, classic type of inscriptions on it. Which isn't bad. I mean, you ha you comes right now with the mono uh, with the especially monolith express, which I already did. But um, the Merc Thermal Hybrid, um, which is just a basic gray and um, gray and white uh, thermal um, tack laser SKS rifle stock, and you also get an operated foregrip. Um, this right here is a very good setup for this SKS. You know, uh, the only thing is. With the Merc Thermal Optic, you won't be able to see after a certain amount, after a certain distance, um, because of the granulations that they added uh, for season five, like in mid-season five, coming into season six, because of the night modes. They say it will help you better out at night, but for the daytime, it really, it feels like a nerf for any thermal optic to look down, uh, to look down the field. It just really does feel bad if they they need to fix that. So um, for this right here, I kind of say you know wait for the uh, wait for the fix but if you're an SKS user and you didn't get the Bay of Pigs or um, don't have you know like a uh, an SKS I'd say you know what this isn't a bad setup that's a nice little thing to go off the bat for the Fennec for the Fennec here we have just basic 25 rounds doesn't come with anything else and if you haven't used a Fennec yet this thing blows through rounds. A squeeze and you're changing mass basically on 25. So, but comes with a range of four grip, comes with strip grip tape in the back, the uh, ZR lay stop blade, and then you get a G, uh, GI Opti mini, uh, optic mini reflex. So this is definitely close quarters. So you get your little close quarters and your mid to long range quarters gun, and then you have your 18 inch barrel dreadful. Now, Deadfall, in honesty, was changed. Because this before used to give you a, a bit more length than that. This had um, the first stock, and then after the first stock, it gave you um, it gave you an extra it gave you an extra barrel. 
now it just gives you the barrel itself which I think they changed that and I don't know why and I'm actually quite mad about that so that that's one thing that for me this package I down I don't can't downgrade it because still the Fennec is still a really good weapon especially in multiplayer um, and solos battle royale solos I'd say it can help you out a lot you know because it's quick to the punch but it's only for one person right after one person because it flies through the bullet so fast that you really won't be able to get into a gunfight in the like duels trios you know because if you if you're the last guy up and you got like two or three people on you're really not gonna freaking like you're really not gonna cast that so you know this is um th this is one thing i say you gotta keep in mind you know um so with that in mind we'll go over we'll see the little charm charm's a nice little feather you know good for you guys we have the talent preview talent quip join the dead and then we also get you know the typical little spray the emblem which is kind of like the emblem on bald eagle uh that's kind of my favorite bird so you know uh that's it's not that bad i'll think about it you know but i don't use talent that often and then i that's a nice calling card whoever drew that heads up man that's that's really beautiful right there but you know um overall man i think this package is a solid b i think it could have been priced a little better you know, if it was priced at 18, it would have been, you know, definitely an A. But it's a solid B because, you know, you you really do use these weapons. And the SKS is a really powerful marksman rifle because of its automatic, um, because of its semi-automatic um, tendencies. You know, it's kind of like the foul. Um, so, but it's just, it hits just a little bit further without having the extended barrel ad additions that we have to do to the foul to get it to shoot at a further distance. With this, you know, with that being said, Thank you guys for everything. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, drop a like down on the, um, down there or even a comment if you want. And let me know what's up. Uh, till then, ladies and gentlemen, peace.